Good morning, Cougars. This is Mrs. Bellatash for day four of Science Camp, and today we are going to make our volcano explode. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, before we do that, I wanna do a little prep for tomorrow. So get like a little paper cup, something like this, or if you have an ice cube tray, you can. A little paper cup or a little plastic cup, something like that. You're gonna put some food coloring. I'm just using blue, but you can use any color you want. We're gonna put some food coloring in some water. And I'm gonna stir that up just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna pour it into this paper cup. And then I want you to put this cup of water in the freezer. And I want it to sit for a couple of hours or overnight, and we're gonna use it tomorrow. So we need to have one little ice cube, frozen ice cube of colored water. So it needs to have color in it so we can see what happens, okay? So please do this for tomorrow. We're gonna put that in the freezer. Okay, all right, now today we're gonna talk about the volcano and why volcanoes explode. And so like, yeah, why do they explode? That's a good question. So I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the structure of the earth again. Um, I've done this with fourth grade before, and the center of the earth is the inner core, and it's so very, very hot. It is as hot as the surface of the sun, about 10,000 to 15,000 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Your oven, where you bake a cake, is 350 degrees. A pizza oven is like 500 degrees. That is 10,000 to 15,000 degrees Fahrenheit, super hot, okay? Then the outer core is a little cooler because it's getting closer to the edge of the earth and getting farther away from the core. And then the next area is called the mantle. It's the biggest part of the earth and it is made out of rock. But one of the things that happens is that as this inner core is cooling, the heat is leaving the inner core and escaping out to the outer, until to the outside of the earth. And as it does that, it, that heat is transferred to the next layer. So the inner core heats the outer core, the outer core heats the mantle. The mantle is made of mostly rock. And when rock gets really, really, really hot, it can melt and it can turn into like mashed potatoes. Not really mashed potatoes, but it's a rock that is like mashed potatoes or thick like honey. And we call that melted rock magma. Okay, and there can be a hot spot in the earth where that, that magma, where that rock, gets, that rock gets really melted. And if there is a crack up in the crust, then that magma can escape and come out onto the surface of the earth and make a volcano, okay? Now look, the crust is the smallest part of the earth. It's super, super thin. We live on the crust, it's very thin. We think of it as being very thick, but it's the thinnest and smallest part of the earth, okay? All right, so we talked a little bit about the structure of the earth, and now I wanna talk a little bit about how things, how matter changes. So matter. What's the matter? That's what I always say. Well, almost everything is matter. Solids, liquids, and gases, right? Solids are tightly packed. They keep their own shape. Liquids have a little bit of space in between the molecules, and they pour, and they flow, and they take the shape of the container. And a gas always expands to fill the whole container. It's got a lot of energy. Gases have the most amount of energy. And you can take any matter, mostly, you can take a lot of different matters, types of matter, and you can change them. If you have ice, which is solid water, that's solid, but it's still water. If you take ice and you add some heat to it, it will turn into a liquid, liquid water. If you take liquid water and you add heat to it, it will turn into steam or water vapor. So you've taken a solid ice and you've turned it into a gas, steam, or water vapor. 
And that happens uh, in, in the earth too. The rocks can be melted from a solid to a liquid and kind of like a thick viscous liquid. But inside the rocks, there's a lot of water and that water expands and wants to, ex to ex escape. And that water vapor, when it becomes a gas, it's pretty explosive. Okay, so <clears throat> I wanna show you what happens when gas gets trapped and it wants to get out. So I've got a balloon and I've got an air pump and I'm going to put my balloon on my air pump and this is going to be loud. So please be aware that this balloon is gonna pop. So when that gas gets, when the liquid water gets heated, it turns into a gas, right? And when the gas, it gets hotter and hotter and it gets, expands more and more, gases always expand. And when gases keep expanding, it's gonna pop pretty soon. Eventually, they can explode. Come on, balloon. Wow, this is a big balloon. Oh, I've got to have a little leak. That's what my problem is. I've got a leak happening here. Don't leak, balloon. See, I've got the pressure building up. Whoa! Wow! And that's what happens in a volcano. The pressure builds up and builds up and builds up until the gas makes it explode at least on certain types of volcanoes. I hope that didn't scare you. It was a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so how do we get the gas to happen inside of our volcano? Well, <clears throat> well we're gonna make a little chemical reaction. I've got some cups. So you need some cups and you need a spoon and, um, and some vinegar. So this is what you need. You need baking soda, you need vinegar, Spoon, red food coloring, vinegar, and some soap, some dish soap. Okay, I'm gonna just illustrate what happens inside a volcano in terms of the, the, how a gas is created. So I have some baking soda, and I'm gonna put one spoon of baking soda in my cup, okay? One spoon of baking soda, and now I'm just gonna take some vinegar. So baking soda, remember when we did the eggs and, I, and we saw those slow bubbles on the outside of the egg? Well, this is not gonna be slow. And the reason it's not gonna be slow is because the powder, the baking soda is a powder. So it has a big surface area, all the places where the vinegar can react with it. So I'm gonna add some vinegar to my baking soda. Ooh, and it is bubbling. See all the bubbles? I'm gonna add a few more. I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar. Ooh, bubble, 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 bubble. What's inside those bubbles? Gas, right? And as the gas uh, reacts, it pops, right? And then it goes out into the air. So this is baking soda and vinegar. And this is what's gonna what we're gonna do in our volcano, okay? But I wanted to show you that there are some other chemical reactions you can do that are super fun too. So another one that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my vinegar away for right now. Another one I'm gonna do is yeast. I'm gonna take one spoon of yeast. You don't have to do this at home if you don't have it. If you won't have it, you can. And I'm gonna get some hydrogen peroxide. So I have hydrogen peroxide and I have some yeast, and I'm gonna pour it together. Now, it does not act this as fast as the other one, right? The other, the other reaction was really, really fast. This one is slower, and some volcanoes have a slow eruption, not a fast eruption. But you can see that it is bubbling. Uh-huh. I'm going to get a stir stick and I'm going to give it a little stir. One of the things that's interesting, ooh, ooh, it's really bubbling now. It's 
getting really nice and foamy. This would be like a slow, thick volcano, a lava, right? The other thing that's interesting about this reaction is that it gets warm. When I hold this cup, it's getting very warm. I didn't add any heat. And when I hold this cup, it's very cold. I didn't add an ice cube. That's one way you can know that there's a chemical reaction, if there's a heat, a change in temperature. I didn't add ice and I didn't add heat. And if there's a change in temperature and I didn't do anything to make that happen, then we know that there's probably a chemical reaction. Okay, so really nice foamy bubbles, okay? Now I'm gonna show you another chemical reaction. And these, this you probably do not have at home. I'm gonna take a spoon of baking soda, okay? And a spoon of citric acid. Now acid, you think, ooh, citric acid, this is Bellatesh, be careful. Well, vinegar is an acid too. It's just a weak acid and this is a weak acid. But this time, instead of adding any vinegar, I'm just gonna add some water. I have that blue food colored water. I'm gonna add it to my thing. Oh, ooh, look at that. It's very pretty and very bubbly. Very, very bubbly. I'm gonna stir it up. You see all those bubbles in there? It's just some blue food coloring, so don't worry about it. It's, I didn't do anything else special to it, just some blue food coloring in the water. And this also is getting cold. All right, so boys and girls, we now know that there was a chemical reaction that made those uh, mixtures bubble and ooze, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that same chemical reaction inside your volcano. Okay, so here's my volcano. And remember, I need to, I'm gonna put this this bottle inside. But I want you to see what I'm gonna do first, okay? Put my volcano back down. So I've got my bottle, and the first thing I want to do is I want to put some baking soda inside my bottle. Now, I'm gonna use just a spoon, and I'm gonna kinda of put my hand here. I'm gonna put a little bit more baking soda inside my bottle. You see the bottle has got the baking soda in it? Okay. All right. And now there's another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cup and I'm going to add some vinegar to my cup. And I want my lava to look red and scary. Not that, not that scary, but just like kind of look more like real lava. So I'm going to add a little red food coloring to it. And boys and girls, I want my lava to be a little bit more foamy. I want it to be a little bit more um, thick. So I'm going to add some soap. I have some uh, dish soap here. I'm gonna add a couple of squirts of dish soap because I want it to be really foamy. I'm gonna take a stir stick and I'm gonna stir it up to make sure that this, this red food coloring and the dish soap and the vinegar are all mixed together. Remember when we made that density column? If I didn't stir it, the soap would stay at the bottom because it's thicker than the vinegar. Okay. All right, so now I've got my lava tube. This is gonna be the lava tube for my volcano. I've got my liquid, and these two things are going to create the gas. And remember, the gas always expands, and the, the, the exploding gas is what actually makes the volcano erupt or explode. Okay, so now I'm going to put my volcano on the table. Now, boys and girls, this could be messy. In fact, it not, it won't, could be, it will be messy. I would highly recommend that you do this in the kitchen sink or the bathtub. And then um, when you're all finished, you just kind of wipe it off and then you run some water in the sink or the bathtub or all cleaned up. It's no big deal. Um, I would not do it on the carpet. 
I would not do it, um, you know, on your mom's brand new dress. Probably a bad choice. So let's try to do this either on the carpet, I, 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 on the carpet, on in the bathtub or in the kitchen sink. Okay, so I put my bottle underneath here. I understand that it's gonna be messy. And I brought some towels here. I'm gonna have one towel just on me because I don't wanna get all messy. Okay. And now I'm going to pour in my vinegar and baking soda, a bake vinegar and soap and colored water into the bottle. See what happens. Oh, here it comes. Here comes my volcano. Do you see it? You see it erupting? Wow! Oh my gosh. Look at that. It sure does look like lava, doesn't it? Ooh, it's oozing everywhere. Wow. And that looks like how volcano, how volcanic lava would work, right? It's just oozing out of the volcano. Okay, I'm gonna add some more vinegar to it. See if I can get some more reaction. I can just pour it right down into the bottle. Ooh, yeah, more coming out. Here it is. More coming out of my volcano. Oh my gosh, it's really cool. It's oozing all over my table. Yes! Oh my gosh. What a fantastic volcanic explosion. I love doing this with you guys. Now, boys and girls, if you wanna make sure that all of the lava comes out and goes onto the outside of your thing instead of going down inside the lava tube, you could get some aluminum foil and you could put it around that bottle so that all of it goes out onto the edge of the volcano on the outside instead of going inside. Oh my gosh, so, 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 so cool. And dipping, depending on where the, the lava ends up, if, it, if the lava, which comes out in a real volcano, it's very, very hot. If it goes into the water, it cools really, really quickly and it becomes glass, right? That's really so cool. If you've ever seen, um, oh goodness gracious, now the name of it is, uh, slipping my mind, but that black glass that it, that make that you can find volcanic glass, um, uh, then that's really cool. If it goes, if it has a lot of holes in it, um, it could be pumice. And and what? Why would it have holes in it? Because of all the bubbles inside. Okay. All right. So I want to show you. I've got this great book. Look inside a volcano. And boys and girls, I kind of drew a picture of a volcano over here. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, there's four different types of volcanoes. So one type of volcano is called a stratovolcano. It's kind of more like this one, right? It's got steeper sides and it is the most common type of the volcano. And it's very explosive. What happens is that it builds up, it builds up, it builds up, and then it explodes. There was a volcano in Washington state that exploded maybe 35 years ago, 30 years ago, call, um, called Mount St. Helens. And it was a very explosive stratovolcano. The other kind of volcano is a shield volcano. And it's a little bit slower. It's not as steep. And it has a kind of very runny volcano. Um, it, it's very flat from runny lava. So it doesn't, it's not thick and viscous and builds up. It's flat and it runs out farther, okay? And then there's something called a cinder cone. And the cinder cone um, volcano is one that usually is on top of another volcano. It's, these last two are kind of in to, on top of another volcano. And it's full of like big rocks that have exploded out of a volcano. And it usually sits on top of another volcano. And the last one is called a volcanic or a lava dome. And that's where some really thick, viscous lava comes out and kind of slowly cools on top of another volcano. Oh my gosh. I love volcanoes. I hope that you have had fun making a volcano with me. Remember, 
make sure to do it in the bathtub or the kitchen sink so where it's not gonna make a big mess all over everything. All right, so tomorrow we're going to make parachutes. Make sure that you put this little cup of water in the freezer so that tomorrow morning when we talk about what we're gonna be doing and um, why certain things happen, uh, you'll have a, a, you'll understand what we're talking about, okay? All right, cougars, see you tomorrow. Have fun with your volcano. Bye.